Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alon Paul, and I'm going to go ahead and do the new 4.2 update with the uh, Corrupted Sentinels. So we're not going to show you everything, but we're going to show you the main battle sequence and how you can acquire one of the new ships. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go out here into space. I'm actually in a system that will work for us, but I want to show you something in regards to said system. All right, let's get out here just a little bit. So first things first, one thing you're going to do, no matter what galaxy you're in, I happen to be in the Eisentim at the moment. As you can see at the top left, Galactic Core, blah, blah, blah. If you look closely at the system I'm in right now, which is Foreman, you notice it's a, a Viking system, mass production, formidable, the farmer, blah, 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 blah. But you'll notice it says F1P slash slash dissonant. You want a dissonant system. You also need a system, pardon me, a place that the worlds on it are going to be uh, habitable. So, see, that's a water system. Most systems you're going to come across are going to be water, but they may be unavailable. If you find one that looks like this, do not go there even if it says dissonant. That means there is no space station here. Hence, there's no people, there's no crashed ships. There may be some crashed ships, but not the ones you're looking for. So as I look around, I'll just show you a different system as we get out here, because there are a few of them. Let's uh, zoom in just a little bit. There's a dissonant system right there. If I keen, technology, unstable, uh, doesn't look like anyone's visited here. Let's take a look there, and if it doesn't turn out to be what we're looking for, we'll come back. So there we go. I don't know if anyone has actually visited this system before, but we'll check it out here. So the planet you're looking for within the system is going to be, it's going to have all its usual stuff, it'll say like copper, paraffinium, it'll show all the different items it has, but it'll also say corrupted sentinels, and that's what you're looking for. But it has to be a habitable planet. That is the key. It must be a habitable planet. First contact. No one's ever been to the system before, so I might just stick around here. It depends upon the planets. First person so I can get a better view of the planets in question. Copper, paraffinium, silver, nothing else. Just a damp planet. Let's move over. Got a little guy over there. We'll check it out if we can get a good beam. No, we can't. But we'll check this one out right here. Cobalt, ammonia, copper, fungal mold. This looks like a cold planet. Let's check it out. Oh, I hate when all those ships arrive. They drive me nuts. High sentinel activity, but again, not what we're looking for. Let's go up here. Nope, sharded, and we and if that turned out to be the planet, I would say nope, don't go there. Now this one we haven't seen. Looks like a nice little blue marble. Infected dust bowl. Oh, that's even better. It's got corrupted sentinel sentinels. So let's check it out. I'm going to orient myself to land on the sunny side. Infected means that we got Titan worms here too. Is this what made it ought to make things even more interesting than usual? need to aim for land mass, so as we get closer, we'll adjust. Okay, nothing's changing. Yeah, we're not going to aim for the oceans. We'll aim over here. Okay, and let's come on in. Now, we need to make sure that there are habitable places on the planet. We might use the economy scanner, but I'm just going to do a, just a general scan to begin with. As things populate on the planet below, you see everything goes purple on these planets. Every single one of them seems to be purple. I haven't seen any changes. Hmm. You heard that, did you? Yep. Titan worms. There he is. So this ought to be an interesting planet. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. I couldn't have picked a worse one, huh? All right, let's move on. Gosh, look at all the stuff at the top of the screen on our radar. Well, let's see if it's a habitable planet. 
Yeah, not finding anything just yet. Once it recharges, I'm going to go ahead and do an economy scanner. Yep, sorry, right there. And there's this, so it's got these places here. And is this on the planet? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's go take a look at it, because I want to make sure we're at a... You don't have to land at a trading outpost. It does make it a little more convenient, of course. But this is more along the lines of just, I just want some place to show that it is a habitable planet and we can make sure that our theory is correct. I haven't tested it yet, so we'll see what happens here. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So now that we've landed... Let's take a look at the base here. So I'm not seeing anybody here. Which means there's no ships landing anywhere. So I'm not very positive this is going to work out really well. But we'll give it a shot. I'll show you the battle as it stands on this planet. Only because it would be really, really interesting to see how this battle goes. But we're not going to have any ships landing anywhere. Which means there's a good chance we're not going to have enough... Um, enough crashed ships on the planet, so. Okay. So first things that you're going to need here. Number one, look at the purple icon up there. You see it? See those nice big purple things in the distance? You're going to need those. Okay. So by all means, get your binding beam ready. And acquire those. You'll need at least three. That just gives you uh, Atlantidium. But the radiant shards are what you need. I love the harmonic dissonance you get from them. So there's one. Two. And three. And I'll get a couple extras because, you know, hey. Why have one? Why have three when you can have, uh, you know, 14? The Atlantidium you're going to need two. But. But. You will get more of those later. As I'll show you how. All right, let's get back up here. Now, I'm going to take a quick peek around. And I'm looking for something. Let's see. I don't know if this planet will have him. Yes, it does. Gravitino Ball, sure enough, has everything as well. Unbelievable. So, we're going to go for a Gravitino Ball. Yeah, see, there's more of those shards in the distance. Oh, look at you. Remember him. We'll come back to him later. Okay, let's get our pulse spitter ready. And I definitely don't have enough ammunition. Yeah, you heard me right. There we go. Will we need that much? I don't know. Will we attract the attention of these walker guys? I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Yep, they're going to come towards us. Now the walker didn't, just the sentinels. Oh, looks like they're all going to come towards me. So these guys will heal each other. Just keep that in mind. And if that guy starts attacking... Of course, incoming storm. There should be normally a third bot looking for me, but that may be the guy we're looking at, if he attacks. Yep, he's attacking. And they will do that too, and they shoot flames and everything else. And they camouflage themselves. Yep, oh, who shot me? Oh, great. We're already at level 3, as you can see. They're pretty smart guys, and the battles get kind of hairy. So keep that in mind. If you're not prepared for this, you will have trouble. Oh, there's another guy right here. Gotta watch your radar for when they're going to be doing. You're going to be doing a lot of strafing. 
Looks like somebody else is shooting at me. Where? Oh, good. Sure. Let's get some attacking animals, too, while we're at it. Okay. Just going to face this direction so we can get them to come up here. Actually, black ground would be better, wouldn't it? Um. Oh, they're going to start over here. There we go. And I want to get this guy in one shot if I can. I can unload an entire clip into him and just about take him out. And these guys will jump at you too, so be careful. Spending more time in the air would be better. Since it's a hot storm, it could come in handy. Probably stay... Wow, these guys are just nasty. Go ahead, let's go some titan worms at the same time. You know it'd be even better right now? If I accidentally hit like a... Uh... Oh, like one of the... Little guy. So. Oy. And they blow up on impact too. They'll do that as well. Okay, we got a guy out there attacking me and a guy over here attacking me. Who's next? Someone over here. Little guy. This will get my next stage going. Should be it. Nope. Multiplying. Why not? It won't. Reappear there. Uh, this ought to be fun. Oh my gosh. Healed him while I was doing it, and healing him fast, too. This should be the last stage. Yep. Whispering Egg, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Took me that long to think of it. Ouch. You fell ahead. Ow, who hit me now? I don't even know where they are anymore. Oh, there he is. I can shoot those too, you know. Okay, is that it? Yes, it is. And that's what should happen at the end. All right. 
there's our spike over there. Okay, so we're going to head back to our ship. I think we can get up to the platform. Can we get up to the upper platform? Nope, not going to get there. There we go. Wonder how extreme. 66.2? Oh, that's in my ship. Never mind. Uh, okay, I'll be alright. How far away? 30 seconds. So, I'm gonna remember that landing platform. So, as you can see, that whole thing took me about 15 minutes or so. 10, 10 to 12 minutes, I guess, maybe. But an intense battle, you can get your butt handed to you if you're not careful. If you stay on the ground and you don't strafe in the air, it's gonna be kinda tough. So this is good. If we're getting the coordinates, then we're in good shape. It's the planets that don't have landing platforms on them and stuff like that that seem to be the issue, so we may have found something here. Alright. What do we got here? It looks like the ship. Kind of a cool looking ship, isn't it? Salvaged to be? Oh, that's great. Not a very nice name. Autophage. So we want to remove the pugnium. You can keep it if you want. It's up to you. Love the gloved hand. It just gives you a bunch of nonsense. The eighth. Nobody really knows. If you go back in there, it'll do the same thing. Now you want to do the same thing to the ship. It's not going to tell you what the class is or anything like that. So you need you need the brain. So take this. You can get rid of that if you want. You need the brain. So take that. And you'll see that in order to fix this, you need three radiant shards, which we already got. We need an inverted mirror, which we don't have yet, and a harmonic brain, which we don't have yet. The bottom right, it tells you to do a target sweep to, to locate an inverted mirror. Now, we would have gotten it from one of those creatures that we saw before. Okay, see that purple? That's where we're headed. Now, my suggestion, just go on foot. You can get your, um, if you wish, you can get your, um, uh, like Exocraft or something like that and go that route if you wish. Uh, that's gonna hurt. You will need your weapon of choice. But you remember that creature we saw? And you just want your check pack to be filled up before you approach. Now they're being protected. They remind me of something when they do that on the ground. And they drill into it. It just reminds me of a movie and I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, let's go ahead and take them out. And you get, you see, an inverted mirror. Now I'm being attacked, so I'm going to head out. Uh, where'd my ship go? Am I going the wrong way? I thought I was going the right way. Ship is over there. Okay. Let's go that way. My suggestion is just go ahead and run. Don't take them out again unless you really want another battle on your hands. Because you're going to go through all five stages all over again. And there's no use in doing so. And see, they're done. I love how the, the graphic of the Gravitino balls now. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so now that we've got it all, we need to use the echolocator to trace the harmonic origin of the brain. So if you go in your inventory, you'll see you have this echolocator. We needed to get to our ship anyway, so there we are. Harmonic echo detected. And it's right across the water. So, we're going to head over to our ship, and we'll take a little jaunt over there. Usually, oh, this one's a little further away than I thought. It's a little further out. No, no need to pulse drive, but 
getting up here is not a bad idea. There we go. It was on a different island entirely. Ah. This is interesting. So it didn't take me to where I needed to go. How oh, interesting. But we might get something else from here. So this is an abandoned campsite. At one point or another, you will be directed here. Sounds, feels like we have another Titan worm making its appearance. Don't see him, though. Okay, not important. Alright, so anytime you come across the wheelbarrows, pick them up. It'll give you items. And we're going to go ahead and gather them up across the campsite real fast. Heat storm. Yeah, went from cold to hot. Go figure. Okay. And you'll see that there's a multi-tool in there. That's good. You know, I could use one right now. Great to find an S-Class one. All right, and then there's this, and you really don't have anything else. Okay, so we gathered up, looks like, all the resources from here. We can start over here. If you wish, you can go ahead and talk to this. You see that little screen in the background. But it does pretty much the same thing. Feedlost circuits, and it just... Those are the 11th, or something to that effect. So there's no reason to continue on that. There is this harmonic interface, though. That doesn't look like anything. Okay, good. So, it tells you there's a lockdown in progress. Now, you want, in, in most cases, you'd hit number one immediately, but you need number two first. You need the memory registers. And it gives you the hints you need. It's all math. Do the math real quick. The first one is obviously nine, then nine again, and then six. Okay? Nine, nine, six. Remember that. Now you choose number one. Remember 996. You have three different areas you need to fill in. Start with the top, number nine, which means you need glyph nine. You need nine again, which is glyph nine. And you need six, which is this one. And it will unlock it. Permitted access. First thing we're going to do is deactivate the multi-tool. Okay, and we'll come back to this in just a moment because we need the dissonant spikes. And there's our weapon of choice. It's an A-class. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can upgrade that. So I'm going to go ahead and claim it since I'm really short on them. I've got two... It looks like it has two uh, uh, supercharged slots on it so far, but they're nowhere near each other. But I'll go ahead and take it anyway. I could use it as a trade-in. So we'll go ahead and take it, put it in my inventory. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and switch back. Okay. And then we'll come back over here. And we're going to locate dissonant spikes. We'll go ahead and do the pullback again. And this should lead us to a... I don't think it'll lead us to another ship. I think it's going to lead us to a... Uh, hopefully to an archive or something like that. Not an archive. A ancient location, but I haven't seen it yet, so let's see what happens. really don't have to go through the battle again, but if I have to, I will. No big deal. This one's only 20 seconds away. How come I get the feeling it's leading me to another ship? Good news is we'll have two ships to, uh, to choose from. I've had this happen um, the first time I ran through. Um, what am I hitting? I wonder if I hit a worm space or so. Oh, I must have hit one of those uh, flying creatures. This looks like another ship. I'll be darned. So what's going to happen here is I've got to have to go through the battle all over again in order to get my echolocator. So, yep, it's another ship. This one's called the Hope. So we got another brain which we need to do something with. Let me see if the brain, it will do it. Okay. So now we got a second ship we can do something with. That's interesting. We'll get our choices. Nice. I think it just led me back to my original ship. A memory. 
Ancient salvage site. Okay, well, let's see what happens. That looks like a salvage site again. Let's take a look over there. Because those brains aren't going to go away. I'm just curious. Because it's leading us back, and I think it's leading us to the same ship we just had. Nope, this time we actually get someplace. Okay, good, good. I wonder if it'll let me do both brains. Let me find out what happens. That would be really neat if it did. I'm going to go ahead and grab the words while I'm here because I've never learned all of the Viking words. Unlike Captain Steve. <laughs> Okay, the ancient site stirs as I approach, stone scraping against stone. Warmth radiates from the uh, hyaline brain within my back, as though in response. The mind of the ship child is interlocked with the hive. Her instructions seek and eliminate anomalies. And mesh archival sentience, sentience with a surrogate entity. So we present the brain. I fumble with the ship's brain, almost dropping it as it glows unbearably hot in my hands. The pain radiates far beyond my hands. An unearthly heat. A heat that melts glass. Glass, glass, glass. Its circuitry shifts and then grows still. The brain seems to accept my presence now. So now we have a harmonic brain. Now, let me see if I can do this again. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's not. Doing it a second time. So let me try something here real quick. Go ahead and get rid of those. And that. Oh, well, that's nice. Repair kit. I think my inventory needs cleaning up, don't you? There's a harmonic brain in here now. Where be the other brain? I wonder if it... Oh, that's it. Gave me some emerald. It gave me a repair kit. Oh, no, no, that's something else. Never mind. <laughs> it won't let me do it right now. Okay. So we'll come back to that. So we get to choose our ship now. We're going to go back to the original ship that we had over there, the one that it just gave us. So we'll check it out and see what Hope has to say. Because you'll notice that the second ship has disappeared from my radar for now. Once we've acquired this first ship, we will have what we need and we'll be able to find the second ship again. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a worm burrow right there. Yay. <laughs> Just what we need. Hope we don't stir that thing up. Anyway, so if one, th one thing I'm going to do, in order to acquire the ship, I have to present it with another ship, because I think I've got enough in my inventory. But I think they're giving you more ships now that you can take. So, we're going to go ahead and put one down here. Oh, where'd that come from? That's odd. Hmm. Interesting. A class. Hmm. Not worried about it. So we're going to go in here. We're going to repair it. All right. We got everything we need. And immediately becomes available for taking. So it's a B class ship. So I don't really need this ship. I'm going to accept it into my inventory. Um. Because I can acclaim another ship apparently. And there we go. So, to give you a rough idea of what this looks like now, if I'm not mistaken, let me just check my radar. It's not showing at the moment. Oh, what do you know? It's giving me a dissonance locator. Oh, great. And guess where it is? Hmm? <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do that again. I just want to see what happens. i got to get back to my pulse spitter. Ouch. Ran into a plant. Alright. Just about close enough. We'll give my... Uh, this a chance to recharge. Okay, and ready. There we go. And we're out of here. Did 
They're hunting. They won't find me. We have so many ships over here. And done. Okay. So that's number one. We got that now. Oh, you notice? My other ship popped up. So let's go ahead and check out... That's the salvage site. We need to... fix the brain. Let's see where it takes us. So we're doing this a second time. <laughs> Ancient site, good. Uh, let's choose so you can get an eye of how these uh, ships run. We'll go ahead and take Hope with us. So we'll show you the inside of the ship too, which is pretty stinking cool. We need the ancient site. Is that the ancient site? Yes, it is. Got a purplish feel to it. Now, may, that may have to do with the outside as well, so... Hmm, this looks familiar. I wonder if it'll work. Nope, oh, it is. So it's going to go through the same thing again. We're going to go through that. Okay, so now we have it. Good, so it reset the ancient site. That was pretty good. <clears throat> so now we need to head to the new ship that we had and look at the inside is that cool or what i love that okay so it's sending us over here how far away is it 40 seconds let's go up a little bit this is what it looks like behind and now we're coming down so we're going to compare it to this ship over here. Now I think I've got seven, eight ships now. So maybe they've increased the amount of ships you can have. I can't see a thing. And I know I'm out of the cloud. There we go. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. And here's the original ship I found. So see, you can find more than one ship. I love that too. Reminds me of the uh, solar ship of Quicker. All right, so here we go. The salvaged bee. To our original one. We've got everything we need. Let's see. It's a C-class. So nowhere near as good. But that is basically how you do it. Look at I can claim that one too. Fascinating. So I will claim them because I can turn them in and get scrap from them and things like that. And I'll you know, get a little bit extra money from it. Not that I need any right now. But... I've got an A-class ship, I've got a B-class, and i got a C-class now. So I'll be searching around looking for an S-class, or it may take the A-class and turn it into an S. But I would love to see what kind of ones I can find that have the slots in it. So sooner or later I'll get a decent one. So we'll go ahead and claim it, and it is now ours. So that is basically how to do that. I'm going to show you one more thing. So we're going to take this ship. Actually, I think what we're going to do is recharge my shield first of all. Um, I'm going to drop in my other ship right now. We're going to take the C-Class. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take the C-Class up to the space station. We'll end up with my other solar ship once we have traded it in, because we'll trade it in, and I'm going to show you a couple other things real fast. Actually, before I trade this in, because that's the only thing you would see is me trading it in, uh, let's go to the anomaly, because we can do what we need to do there. I don't have multiplayer on, in case you're wondering. That's the reason why I'm finding all these ships very easily. Side. But first things first, we can now, you didn't get the announcement during it because I've already gotten this item, but now in the appearance modifier you can now get some things. Like for instance, I've got this lovely cape, but now I can get the new backpack. I don't think you have to go to the Quicksilver Companion. It's not Twitch, it's not Expedition. 
Oh, we can get the moon sign. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm going to get that while I'm here. Get it while you can, by the way. Two and three are going to be unlocking soon, and I really, really love these signs. They're really nice. Uh, let's see the Utopia poster. I'm going to go ahead and grab it because I really loved that. So let's just check things out. Base building, gestures, appearances. It should be under appearances, I believe. But if not, it should already be available to us. And it would be a jetpack. Okay, so it's not in there. My guess is that it's just already available to you. And it's unlocked. So let's check out the new jetpack. Backpack. Let's see. There's your capes. In case you're wondering, there's the tentacle cape. Worm cape. I like that one too. But now we get the Aeron Turbo Jet. So this is what your Alpha unit looks like. That is the Retro Jet Pack, in case you're wondering. The Streamlined, which I used to always like. The Exotic, which is okay. The wings come out when you want to. And then you have the Aeron, which is just huge. And I'm actually going to sport it for a little while. I want to check it out. So, let's go ahead and take that. Um, do we want to change my head in any way? I kind of like it. We're going to leave it for now. Save the changes, and there it is. Not bad. Reality glitch. I kind of like that. So we're going to leave this on for now, and we'll use this in our further episodes. So that is some of the things you can get doing this expedition. This has been not too, too long of a, of a run through here and it did work out well. Um, so we've learned that it has to be a dissonant, uh, dissident, dissident, uh, uh, system. Number one, you have to find a planet with corrupted sentinels. Uh, the planet must be habitable, habitable. That means it doesn't necessarily have to have people on it, but it should have animals. It should have the ability for you to do other things there. Um, Landing platforms, economy, minor settlements, things like that. If you go to a system with nothing in it, in other words, there's no space station, that won't work for you. If you land on a planet that is one of these ossified planets or something like that, where there's literally nothing else on the planet, um, there are no trade stations, no minor settlements. Do a scan when you hit the planet, look for a minor settlement, or look for a settlement, if you will, or trade station. And if you find one on the planet, We've learned that that is exactly what you need. There wasn't any people there, but we were still able to find and do exactly what we needed to do here. So, so far, that seems to be the common norm here. And as you see, that's basically the playthrough. It is a little bit of a tough battle, but you can all get through it. Um, I'm using a pretty wimped down uh, multi-tool at the moment since all of mine disappeared. Um, but it should work out well for you. And you get this pretty cool backpack to go along with it. I kind of like it. I think it looks really, really neat. Um... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do kind of like that. So, we're going to keep this on for now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. I've got some up upcoming videos that I'll be doing in the future. So, please hit that like and subscribe if you liked what you saw. And, hey, guys, see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.